Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. We've got another armor test for you. Today we have AR500 Armors Level 4 Ceramic Body Armor. This is a 10 by 12 model. This is rated for one shot of M2AP. We'll be at 45 feet today. We'll use our Pro Chrono Digital. It's about 70 degrees outside. We have our clay briefcase as a backer as always to measure back face. Clay is warm, so we should get good representation. We've already drop tested this plate twice, as I'm doing with all level four plates from now on. Our threats that we're gonna put it up against today are some M80, some 300 wind mag that I've downloaded to the NIJ spec for M2AP. And then if it stops those, which it should, I can step it up a little bit and maybe even see if this will stop M80A1 at 3,400 feet per second. Let's get into this. Up first, we have some legit M80A1. This is Winchester, has a NATO head stamp. Got these from a friend on the FAL files. I apologize about the wind. 21 inch FAL with a Phantom M2 suppressor. Velocity, 29.56. First shot right here, right where I wanted that sucker. What do you guys think? I got ceramic all over the place. Do not see a pass through there. Got some good cracking that plate though. I think we're gonna have to be careful about this one. There's some good back face there. Let me see if I can even measure that. Again, this is just a rough guesstimation, but that's 24 millimeters of back face there. It did push the plate in quite a ways. Step it up a little bit. All right, so I fibbed a little bit. I forgot the other box at home. So this is 73 grains of IMR 4350. I should be about 200 feet per second or more above spec. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Velocity was 30, 93. Here's our shot right here. What do you guys think? I don't know if I want to show you guys this. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Um, um, there's a fist sized hole in there. There's some debris on the back. This was a brand new uh, piece of plywood there. Needless to say, at 3,100 feet per second, that is a penetration. It doesn't even look like I tried to stop it. There's not a lot of back face there. Let's, uh, let's go to a 300 Win Mag full metal jacket and see what's gonna happen. All right, our last two tests. I'm just curious. We've probably compromised this plate quite a bit. I have a 150 grain full metal jacket here and M80A1 in our 300 wind mag. This should be 3,400 feet per second. This should be 33. We'll see if it can stop this. To give us our best chance, we'll take the full metal jacket shot on the right, since that's where most of the damage has occurred. And then we'll take the M80A1 on the left hand side. So the 150 grain full metal jacket first. Thirty-two, fifty-two. Let me reset the plate. Now our M80 A1. Thirty-three, ninety-two. Here was our 
150 grain full metal jacket. And here was our M80A1. As I press this plate, there's not much left in there. What do you guys think? Who wants to take some bets? Uh row. There is a penetration on the full metal jacket side and it actually stopped the M80A1. There's a good dimple there, but it stopped it. There was the 150 grain full metal jacket. Just went right through that sucker. As far as back face goes on that hole, we're right around 32 millimeters. Yeah, I'm not gonna measure the cavern there. Interesting. I'd say this is a solid entry level level four plate. Stopped M80A1, which we pretty much know is a level four threat. Couldn't stop the M2AP at 200 feet per second over the NIJ standard, but again, that's a little above and beyond what this plate's supposed to be rated for. There's no doubt in my mind that this could probably easily stop a couple of M2AP rounds depending on how it's placed. Interesting that it stopped the M80A1 going, you know, 3,300 feet per second, but the lead core 30 cal full metal jacket going slower, it zipped right through it. And there's not much left of the ceramic strike face, so pretty much when you do test level four plates, you gotta be careful about this when they're solid monolithic strike faces because you just start cracking the ceramic even in places that bullets didn't even get near. As always, I'd like to thank the manufacturer, in this case AR500 Armor, for providing us with products to torture and you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range.